guys, it's Kim Dao here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So today is my final day in Japan. Well, I'm leaving today. So it is 10 a.m. right now and I have to take a flight at 1 p.m. to go to Tokyo. So from here to Hiroshima Airport, it's like 15 minutes. So I'm going to take the bus at 11 o'clock so I can get there around 12. So yeah, that's like one hour before the flight. That should be perfect because, well, it's domestic so I don't have to get the two hours before. Um, once I land in Tokyo, it's going to be a bit hectic. So I land, then I have to transfer terminals and then I'm going to check in and I have to meet my friend's girlfriend who lives in Tokyo so I've got something to give to her and then she's got something to give to me to give to her boyfriend in Australia so it's a good thing that I'm stopping by so it's convenient for me to pass on packages just then I tried to order some room service but they told me it's going to take half an hour to get the food and I was like oh, damn because okay I need to leave probably well okay look I probably will have time to eat but I was like, oh, if it comes in half an hour, then I have to scoff the food down really quickly, rush downstairs to check out and then buy the bus ticket and board the bus. And okay, the breakfast isn't really cheap. It's like 2,800 yen, which is about $30. I mean, okay, to be honest, that's kind of like normal Australian prices anyway for breakfast food. But if I'm spending that much on food, I want to enjoy it and not rush. So I decided, okay, maybe let's not order room service and I don't know. I'll get some food at the station before I go on the bus or I'll go to the convenience store before I go on the bus. Uh, my friend's girlfriend actually, she is buying me Taco Bells. I'm really excited for that. I haven't had Taco Bell in so long because I'll have lunch when I land in Tokyo and yeah I just need a bit of like food to keep me going because I did wake up kind of early-ish I was taking my time in the morning to get ready I thought check out time was at 10 a.m. so I was kind of like rushing a little bit but then I read the information and check out time is at 12 and I was like oh in that case I can stay here until I have to go down to take the bus I am so not looking forward to my flight going home it's going to take another 20 hours I have packed my bags and I'm in my very comfortable clothes for my flight. I also have a sweater in my bag in case it gets cold on the plane. And yeah, I'm ready to check out and head on to the bus. If I have some time, I might stop by the convenience store, but if not, it's not a big deal. I can eat at the airport. I'm sure there's something there I can get. bus timetable and as you can see the bus leave pretty frequently every 20 minutes so I'm gonna take the bus at 11 a.m. and I'll arrive at 11.50 one hour 10 minutes before my flight and this is like literally right outside of Hiroshima station and for one ticket one way it's 1,340 yen so that's about $14 ish Checked my bag in at Hiroshima Airport and now I'm just gonna find some quick food to bring onto the flight with me because I'm hungry. And a small store that is selling udon and ramen, so I decided to get a kitchen udon. So my flight is at 1 pm, it is 12.08 right now. So I mean because it's domestic, like the security check is really quick. feel so much better after eating so now let's go through security and then I'm gonna sit down and watch Netflix Ooh, have lemon flavor Kit Kat security is right here let's go through
I got Taco Bell, yay! <laughs> so I got my favorite cheesy beef burrito from my friend. security and immigration my friend just left as well so yeah now I'm just going to wait for my flight to Singapore I'm transferring in Singapore for 1 hour 40 minutes so usually I go into a lounge and relax because it's only 1 hour 40 minutes though I don't know if I will actually go to a lounge but we'll see how things go if my gate is close to the lounge then I will go chill in there but yeah Finally going back to Sydney, even though I was gone for like less than a week, it feels like it's already been like two weeks. Um, I have a lot of work to get done, so I am going to sit down for maybe 20 minutes before boarding. So I'm going to get my laptop out, do a bit of work and charge my phone whilst I wait for boarding time. Imagine if I missed my flight because I was looking at the Pikachu vending machine. Singapore and the plane landed a little bit early so I have two hours in Singapore so I'm gonna go straight to the lounge and just relax. I'm in a lounge now, I just got some milk tea and some food. Just got a bunch of roti and some curry. I love roti. I'm actually sitting at my favorite seat in this lounge, like it's secluded from everyone. So yeah, usually when I go into lounges, I want to find a seat where no one else is around me. So you know, um, it's more quiet and I can relax more. But anyway, um, I'm gonna eat quickly, gonna drink my tea and then let me check the time. Because boarding is at 12.45, so that's in 1 hour and 10 minutes. Just brushed my teeth and redid my skincare, now I'm going to head to my gate. I'm actually going to grab a neck pillow because I keep forgetting to bring mine. Um, this one's $20, so it's not so bad. I wanted this one though, but it's like $40, so yeah, now I'm just going to grab this $20 one. I have one at home already, so I don't need like a really good one. I finally made it back home to my place in Sydney after 20 hours and as you guys saw on the plane I switched my sim card around when I landed in Sydney so I can use my Australian sim straight away and I also kept my Japan sim so when I go back to Japan I just activate my sim card again switch it around once I land and then I can use my sim card straight away so once again I am using the mobile sim card for Japan I'll link them down below the sim card can be shipped to you before you go to Japan 
So once you land, you can use your data straight away. They have various SIM plans available, like just data, or you can get a phone number as well, which is really hard to get in Japan. So it's very rare to get that service. There's great coverage as well. When I was in Japan, I was in the middle of nowhere most of the time. We were like in the mountains and I still had reception. They have short term and long term options. Because I go to Japan very often, I have the long term option. That's why I always keep my SIM card in my phone case for the next time I go to Japan. And also most of their profits go to charity. And one more thing, they have really good English support as well. So yeah, um, now that I'm back in Australia, it's time to get back into the grind. I've got an event later today with Benefit at I think at 6 p.m. So I'm gonna wash my hair and redo my hair. So I put in some uh, purple color conditioner, but it's kind of faded very quickly. So my hair looks more green now. So I'm gonna try and put more of the purple up here. So then maybe this would fade into more of a purple color. I have to do a quick campaign shoot for Lancome. And then um, I also need to edit a video for a client as well. So I'm gonna vlog the event for you guys tonight because I'm gonna probably take a couple of days off vlogging since um, guys, I am so behind like as I speak right now, I'm like over a month behind on all my vlogs. So I feel really bad about that. Just when I travel, I say to myself, I'm going to edit on the plane and stuff and it never happens. But anyway, I'm not going to blab on too long. I've got some PR packages that I have received whilst I was away. So let's open them together. This one's from Benefit. As you guys know, I do get my brows done every single month with Benefit. I get them waxed, tweezed, tinted, and I ask them if I can have a spare of the Brow Contour Pro. I've got this package, which I'm going to open up right now. I think I know what it is. And we've selected some products from OGX hair care. I'm excited because I use these a lot. Purifying charcoal detox conditioner. Cool. And then I also have the purifying charcoal detox shampoo. Argan oil of Morocco. Yes, because I've bleached my hair so many times, I definitely need this stuff. So thank you so much. For myself, for my wedding. After the event I had last weekend, I went to the city with Nat. We had some spare time and I was like, hey, I really want to look and try on some wedding shoes. So we went into Westfield and there's so many shops in there, guys. So we went into Louboutin and okay, I actually bought a pair of Louboutin shoes last month. I just bought the black ones. Now, at that time, I saw these gorgeous shoes. It was made out of PVC and they had little diamonds and crystals in it. It was so pretty. But at the time, I was kind of like, oh, I kind of just want a black pair for now because it goes with every single outfit. So that's why I got the black ones. Um, but I always had those shoes in mind because I was like, those are perfect for wedding shoes. Now, Last week, I went into the Louis Vuitton store and I was like, I'm just going to try them on and see if I actually like them or not. As soon as I put them on, I was like, oh my gosh, I fell in love. They were so beautiful. I've never worn such a beautiful pair of shoes before. The only issue was they didn't have my size. So I was like, oh, can you order my size in? And they were like, no, this is like a limited seasonal only item and we are not getting any more and we're not making them anymore. So I was like, oh my gosh, I should have bought these shoes earlier because the black ones, you can always get them. On the online store, they only had size 35 left. So when I was in David Jones, I was like, hey, can I try on a size 35 and can you put insoles in there so I can see if it's comfortable or not? They did that and it was really comfortable. And to be honest, it's probably better to go half a size up anyway because then you can put insoles in and it's not too tight. So that's why I decided in the end, I was just gonna buy them online because it was the only place to get them. They were sold out Australia wide. Let's open it up together. Oh my gosh, my heart is beating so fast right now. I am so excited to see my new babies. Ooh. Da -da -da -da. Oh. <laughs> oh. They actually gave me two bags for my shoes because when I bought the black ones, they only gave me one. Ooh. Okay, guys, are you ready? Here they are. Oh my gosh. I am so in love. Let me take out the tissue. This is it. 
Isn't it stunning? It actually looks better when you wear them. The back part actually came in a lot of different styles. So they had one in white. They also had glittery versions and stuff like that. This one here is in ivory, but it actually looks quite cream. So I didn't want the white one because I was like, it's a bit hard to match with other clothing. But the cream one, I feel like I can actually wear this after the wedding as well. So yeah, this is it guys. Um, found my wedding shoes. Oh, I can look at these all day. The only thing I'm worried about though is if these fall off. I really hope that they are stuck on really well. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm also gonna have some lunch. So I will see you guys after I get ready and when I go off to my event. All right guys, so I did a little bit of makeup. I'm actually really hating my makeup today, but um, I also redid my hair. I put in some purple color conditioner. I'm curled it. So now I'm gonna head off to the benefit event with Nat. We're gonna take an Uber down there. and they gave each one of us a little pouch with some goodies in it. So first off, I got the Benefit Brow Styler. So this is their new product they just released. Then they also gave us a scarf. There's different ways you can wear it. Oh, there's Nat, she's staying over tonight. <laughs> and then one complimentary spray tan, a GHD Advanced Split End Therapy. I'm really excited to try this out actually because I have split ends because I curl my hair all the time. The GHG thing? Yeah. Oh wait, is it a leave-in? Yeah, shake well, apply to clean towel dried ends. But yeah, thank you so much Benefit for the event. It was really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I think it's dragged on long enough. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.